Ideogram just launched their new character feature and with it comes the ability to use Magic Fill to do easy face swaps. The results are so good. In this video, I'll show you just how easy it is. Let's jump right in. From the home page, head to character on the left hand panel and from there you can create your first character. I'm going to use camera to take a selfie. Now we have our character reference. First, let's check out the templates. We'll click over the face swap. And here it looks like we've got some famous memes. Okay, I'm gonna try out the Keanu one first. I may have had it sent to me a few times. Hit magic fill. While that's queuing, let's check out some of the other ones they have. Okay, let's try Willy Wonka. And the Drake one. Okay, Keanu ones are done. <laughs> Not bad, I'll keep it as my sad meme. Okay, next, Willy Wonka. I look good in the top hat, okay. Okay, Drake. Drake one looks pretty solid. I like I like the lighting in it. Very, very seamless. Nice. Okay, that was fun. Now, what if you want to do a face swap that isn't from an existing template? Next, I'm going to upload my own meme. I'm going to use one from The Office. Upload and choose Magic Fill. I want to be Michael Scott in this image. So here, we can highlight over his face. I'll adjust the stroke size. And I definitely want to keep that here. So. We'll just color over his face. And then once you're happy, just hit next. I'm just gonna type in man shaking hand as the description. And then hit magic fill. A few seconds later, we have our face swap. <laughs> it's so funny. Look at that hair. Now, why stop there? Why don't we swap out the boss also? I'll select magic fill on the right panel. And we're going to do the same as before, except to the other person. We'll grab our select tool. And same as before, we'll just highlight over the face. And I'm gonna keep the hair also. I feel like that's a key part of the meme. When we're good, hit next. Now I'll remove myself as the character and then click the character button to add a new person. I'll choose my buddy Tristan from my saved characters and then hit magic fill. And just like that, we're in the office meme. No Photoshop needed, the hair is so good. Cool. Okay, let's do another example. This time I'll do something more stylish. For a character, I'll upload a new person. So I'll click on character, new character, upload and select the file. Now if you click on the character box, it opens the mask editor. For this image, I'd like to keep her sunglasses. I'll just come over to the tools panel, adjust the stroke size, and now I'll adjust the mask to include those sunglasses. Then hit save edits, and for my base image, I'll upload a fashion shot. Under edit image, I'll select magic fill, and from there, it's the same as before. Highlight over her face, but I'm gonna keep her earrings, so I'll be a bit more meticulous. This tools panel makes it easy to customize your mask. There, that looks good. Hit next, and I'll just type in model for my description. Then magic fill can do its magic. And voila, our character in a random fashion shot. Easily done. It kept her sunglasses and even matches the lighting on her face to the original image. And there you go, that's how you use magic fill to face swap in ideogram. Tag us on your favorite face swap creations on TikTok, Instagram, or X. I'll put those links in the description below. I'll be making more tutorials on the character feature, so keep an eye out for those. Until then, have fun creating!